Hi and welcome to this quick video looking at generating a range of concepts from an initial idea or initial sketch uh, which you can see here in the top center. So all these iterations that you can see here were generated from this initial sketch that I made and I used the AI to generate um, variations of this. So let's take a look at um, how to create these. So without further ado, let's get started. We have here a basic image that I've just created and the canvas size for this is 512 by 512. Very small, I'd consider this like a thumbnail sketch. And you'll see that the line work is not great. It's very sketchy. I've got tone breaking over to the side here. It's smudged and the line work is more of an indication of volume and, and shape. Uh, I've used the airbrush here to kind of show some shadows as well as a fine line on this side to also indicate some paneling as well. And, and that's the idea of this. It's very light, probably like the first stages of concept sketching where you'll use a very light marker just to rough out general shapes and then you'll work over these. My goal here is not to create a final highly polished AI image. What I'm trying to do here is to use a very base level design to paint over and just to spark ideas very, very quickly in terms of how the shape can be manipulated using the AI tech. So let's take this sketch over now to Stable Diffusion and see what we can do with it. So here we are in Stable Diffusion. I'm not going to go through the setup of this. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description so you can um, go through those steps using a tutorial that I've used in the past to install. It's very good. So I'm using here version 1.5 and we're going to go over to image to image and I'm going to drag that image into this zone here. So here is the sketch that we made. If I just hit generate now, nothing's going to happen. Uh, nothing interesting anyway at this point because it hasn't got enough information. So what I'll do is I'm going to use the prompt here. So the first one I'll put in here is going to be concept art. At the end of the day, this is a concept piece. So concept art seems relevant. It's futuristic. It's obviously a sci-fi piece as well that I'm looking for. Generally speaking, the words that you use at the beginning are more heavily weighted than those at the end. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut and paste some that I've already done. Here we are. So I'm using side view, line art, uh, big, medium, small. I'm using that as a design principle when, when I'm looking at a design iteration. Contrast, I want some contrast in these lines so that it, it kind of like hardens these lines up a little bit, hopefully. Um, 8K, very detailed. Uh, mark render is important because I want to maintain that sort of illustrative uh, design sketch feel to it. Illustration, digital illustration. Centered is important because generally what can happen is that when it produces an iteration of this design, it sometimes can put it over onto the left or the right. So I want to try to force it into the center of that canvas whenever possible. And I've put this in the, in the style of um, Scott Robinson, who's an excellent um, illustrator and designer. So this is the kind of style that I'm trying to emulate. And one of the great things about this is that because we're looking at a very loose sketch here, if you look at Scott Robinson's um, uh, YouTube channel and look at the design principles and the construction principles, you can easily draw over these concepts. Let's just go with this one at the moment and I'm gonna leave everything as it is and let's just hit generate and see what happens. So you can see here that what we've got straight away is really cool. 
but not exactly what I was after. Um, so the reason for this is that my denoise strength was far too high. So it was giving, by, by moving this one over here, I was giving it a lot of freedom to come up with ideas. Now, like I said, this is a really cool image, but it's not the design iterations that, I, that I'm after at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this down and let's try this one, keep everything else the same and generate again. Okay, so now this is a lot better. What we can see here is we can see that kind of loose style being applied to this, but it's given me some extra lines on here and it's trying to follow forms through. And this is really interesting. Let's continue and see if we can change this around even more. So what I want to do now is I want to increase the number of steps. So I'm going to increase this to around about 70, which is generally going to give me, hopefully, a lot more detail in this image. I'm going to keep the rest of it pretty much the same. I'm going to increase the batch count here. So it will, instead of just producing the one image, it will be produce two images for me. And finally, on the um, CFG scale, I'm going to, yeah, I'll, I'll leave that at seven for now. That's OK. So let's see those results there and hit generate. OK, so looking at this, you can see where it's tried to make those lines down there. It's kind of trying to follow that form through there. Not great. This one's slightly better. What's interesting about this one is the top part here where we've got a light source supposedly coming down onto this um, top section. And we've got a panel line that's kind of following that line around there, how it would go. And where where we have this shadow here, we see in this transition of the surface around, and it's uh, trying to get that transition around there. And the same with the front, where it's trying to round this design off here. Actually, let's let's try and edge it up a little bit. Let's try and edge up this way. Let's see if we bring this scale down a little bit and just see what happens. OK, so these two are quite interesting here. We can see here where we've got a little bit more detail. If you remember on the original image that I sketched out, I had quite a few lines scattered here and there over the right side. And the AI seems to be picking up those lines and, and adding more of those paneling or these panel lines over to that side. So it's worth it's a worthy note that um, try to make things even if you want more paneling on, on the opposite side. So let's look at the other image. So this one is really interesting. We've got a lot of detail going on in here. And a much more interesting variation on that shape as well. What I really find interesting on this are, are these panel lines that it seems to, to use and, and follow the shading or the, the tonal changes here. And it seems to place those panel lines in the correct orientation of that 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 surface, which is really encouraging and gives you some really nice ideas in terms of designs. So at this point, what I can do is say, okay, this one now is my new image. So I can say, send this one to image to image. So it will put replace the old one in there. I'll use exactly the same prompt here and I'll hit generate again. Okay, so it's finished iterating on that one. And now we can see we're getting something really interesting here. We're getting a lot more definition. A lot more of that paneling is coming through. And we're getting these nice little um, areas here, which could be kind of vents or, or windows or, or something like that. We're getting a little bit of sense of perspective as well on this, which is something that's interesting. Um, Let's check the other one out. Yeah, this one isn't 
so great, but um, it is an interesting use of that, of the kind of where it's trying to create these sort of outlines on here. So by adding those two names and of, of those two um, artists and two variations, we've even got some what appear to be like people boarding this craft. Um, gives a sense, sense of scale with it. You can see here how these panel lines are kind of following the form of our object in very interesting ways. This is particularly interesting here where we have the surface that's uh, upward facing. Again, imagine the light coming down on here and hitting this surface and this surface and this surface. And the the panel lines seem to be following that, that tonal change in the surface of this um, form which is amazing, really. And this one here, we've even got kind of like a, an exhaust or engine area down here. This is just an iterative process just to give ideas at a very base level of, of how we can use a very simple sketch to just generate ideas. So I hope you found that useful and um, check back soon because I'll continue making a few more of these because uh, this is a great tech and uh, a great tool for artists to use. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.